Hey guys, it's Danny with Words Are Matter. This video is inspired by my friend Phil Good's video that he put out a couple weeks ago imploring his followers to not self-identify as old. And the language of time and temporality and how, how it activates the mortality codes in our body is something I've been studying for quite a while. It's in some books that I'm playing with right now. And it's time, it's time for us to talk about this. So. When we talk about how old we are, there's so much sabotage encoded in that. First of all, what it indicates is a lack of time, right? So when I say, how old are you? I am infusing lack into your field. I'm inviting you to define yourself and to identify yourself in a framework of a lack of time. Because when we say, how old are you? It's like, how much time do you have left? Or how little time do you have left, right? Old is not a concept we really value in our culture, unless maybe it's like an old growth forest. But keep in mind when we're identifying something as old or young, it's generally in comparison. Generally in comparison to ourselves, it's very self-centric there. When I say, how old are you? Not only am I infusing lack of time and limitation in that programming into your field, I'm just trying to figure out, are you older than I am? Are you younger than I am? Is this how I'm gonna look when you're age? Is this how I used to look when I was your age? Like it's all just sort of a comparison around ourselves. So start to pay attention to where that question comes up into your life and to temporal comparison and how completely meaningless it is. Like if someone is eight, then someone who's 12 is older and someone who's five is young or younger, right? If I'm 20, then someone who's 30 is older or even old and someone who's 16 becomes young, right? It's all a, comp a comparison for ourselves. The other thing is with self-identifying as old, because old is encoded with so much negative languaging, when we self-identify as old, we are instructing all of the cells and systems in our body to configure to old, right? We don't have to age the way that we do. It is a gross misunderstanding on our planet. And our languaging, when we're speaking these mortality codes into the field, then we're directing our body, it's time to start wrinkling, it's time to start growing gray, it's time to start having erectile dysfunction, like whatever it is, all of that is programmed into the languaging around old. So unless you're someone who comes from a culture where the our elders are lauded, as they really should be, and you know that I'm not a fan of the word should, <laughs> um, then start to notice if self-identifying as old feels good to you. Does that feel optimizing? Is that optimizing your system? Because old is encoded with a hell of a lot. And when we say it, we are instructing reality, we're instructing our body to configure to old. The other piece I'm, I'm inviting us to pay attention to, aside from the meaninglessness of, of these temporal comparisons, is the lack languaging in it. So I've talked about this before, that, that abundance and lack are not the numbers in our bank account. Those are expressions of abundance or lack. But abundance and lack are actually frequency bands in the collective field. And we align ourselves to those frequency bands by way of our belief systems, our words and our thoughts and our communications, right? So when I'm speaking lack into the field, I'm attuning myself to the frequencies of lack in the larger collective and thus instructing reality to configure according to lack. By the same token, when I'm speaking abundance into the field, I'm harmonizing my frequency to that of abundance and instructing reality to configure according to abundance. So anytime we talk about age in terms of old, right? Even if it's, I am 12 years old, which seems like a ripe young age, years old, old. Look at the coding in old, not enough time, right? That is a delusion in our culture that we don't ever have enough time. So when I say I'm 12 years old, I'm connecting myself to that program of lack, of lack of time, and even though I'm saying I'm 12, I'm still, I'm still empowering lack frequencies and I'm aligning myself with this illusion of linear time as a conveyor belt leading us from birth to death, which it is not. 
and I'm signing on to that construct. So I'm still inviting in the perfect upgrade for how old are you, right? Because how old are you is a curse that you're placing on someone. Even if they're five years old, it's a curse because you're inviting them to sign on to the lack frequency. I'm five years old, right? Right, right. Then and there, they've hooked in to that, that program, that enslavement program. I used to say, how many sun spins do you have? And people would just look at me like I was crazy and have no idea what I was talking about. So that doesn't seem to translate. Translate. Some people have suggested how young are you, but young and old, they're two sides of the same coin. And in the same way that we have not yet learned to loud age and wisdom and the elders and wisdom keepers in our culture, the way that we elevate youth is just as gross. And it's not something that I'm encouraging us to sign on to. It doesn't feel super empowering to me. So as you have brilliant ideas as for the perfect quantum language upgrade for the outdated expression, how old are you? Thank you for sending them to me. And in the meantime, I'm encouraging you and me and all of us to eschew the urge to self-identify as old, to do that to ourselves and to instruct ourselves and our systems and our skin and our everything to configure accordingly, to remove ourselves from the whole programming around linear time and the programming around lack of time and not enough time and just start to play with it and feel what it feels like to identify as eternal, to identify someone who is a contemporary, who is navigating this eternal now along with everyone else who's incarnate on the planet. Because really in the grand scheme, we're all contemporaries. And if someone has 10 years on us or 20 years on us, when we look back 10,000 years from now, it really doesn't matter, we're all here now. Thanks for paying attention. Thanks for remembering that every word matters, that you are omniscopic, eternal amazingness. Have a rockin' day. Mwah.